guys welcome back so I had so much fun comparing the profusion palette to the colored rain palette that I decided I wanted to do it again okay now it was a lot of fun just comparing the higher end palette to the lower end palette checking out the pigmentation the blendability um, just everything as far as being able to create the same type of eye look with two palettes that are priced so differently. So I said, you know what, I want to go ahead and do it again because I do have a palette, a new palette from Revolution that I wanted to try out, test out, play around with anyway. So I said, let me see if I can find a palette in my collection that looks kind of similar to this palette. Now the palette that I started off playing out with is this Revolution Constellation palette. Now this is part of their Forever Flawless palette collection that they just came out with not too long ago. There are four palettes in this collection and I'll go ahead and just insert a picture here. So those are the four palettes that you can get as part of this collection and this is the one that spoke to me of course the most because it's so super colorful, brilliantly designed and just, it was just like calling my name. You guys know the pinks, the purples, the blues. It said, hey Camille, this is for you, okay? <laughs> so I fell in love with this palette when I saw it found out it was 15 bucks so not too bad for 18 shadows and I went ahead and picked it up I ordered it off of the Revolution website and it didn't take long to get to me at all now this palette has 18 shadows like I said there are actually 10 shimmers in this palette and only eight mattes so that's a little something different for a palette to have so many shimmers or satin type shadows along with the mattes but kind of nice kind of different uh, it made it a little bit more difficult to come up with an eye look to do to compare these two palettes but I still worked it out you guys I really did so this is the lesser expensive palette that I used today the Revolution Constellation now the more expensive palette that I'm comparing it to today is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera Everybody knows about this palette. If you don't, I don't know where you've been because <laughs> it's been all over the boob tube. Okay? Now, this is what this palette looks like inside. Of course, you guys know this palette has 14 shadows and there are only six shimmers in here. Yes, six shimmers and eight mattes. So, lesser amount of shimmers in here, but they're all extremely pigmented, gorgeous, perform beautifully and I really like this palette It's perfect for spring and summer I mean it's just absolutely gorgeous so this palette is $45 I believe their palettes used to be 42 right but I think this one was 45 <laughs> so anyways with this palette you do get a brush which of course is not in here I've taken mine out you don't get a brush in the revolution palette but this is the higher end palette so what I did you know what hold on let me just hold on one second let me let you guys take a look so you can kind of try and decide which one is the revolution palette and which one is the Riviera palette <laughs> let me know revolution versus ABH which do you think is which go ahead put it down in the comments don't cheat don't be trying to skip through the video okay but anyway <laughs> go ahead and guess so this is the ABH palette like I was saying 14 gorgeous shadows so what I did was I went ahead and swatched this palette because I wanted to compare all of the shadows in this palette to see if there were any comparable shadows in the Revolution palette because you know it's easier for me to match up 14 shadows as opposed to 18 shadows not possible so that is what I did so I'm gonna go ahead and just insert a picture of the swatches from the ABH compared to the ones that I thought were the closest from the Revolution palette
So as you can see from the arm swatches that I showed, there are quite a few um, shadows from the Revolution palette that kind of came close to the ABH palette. Now, while they aren't the exact same colors, the exact same shadows, definitely not the exact same formula, as you can see, you can definitely create a similar eye look with both of these palettes. Now when deciding on the eye look, I did have to kind of gear towards the pinks, the purples, the blues, and stuff like that because that's the theme of these palettes. But I feel like for spring, it's a great look. It is something that wasn't too hard for me to do and I really feel like these eye looks are extremely close, okay? Extremely close. And I will definitely be curious to see which one you guys picked <laughs> in the comments section. So, what I'm going to do is I'm really just going to do a voiceover kind of explaining to you what I was thinking, what I was feeling as I was going through with the demonstration of testing out the two palettes. Of course, you guys know I used two different sets of brushes for each side. I didn't contaminate, mix, color switch, anything like that. I have about 5,000 brushes, so I just used the same type of brushes for both sides and both palettes just to make it fair. So let's just go ahead and jump into the comparison today of the Revolution Constellation palette against the ABH Riviera palette. And definitely let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, I have two different sets of brushes, one for each side. And as you can see, I'm using my Riviera palette on my right and the Constellation on my left. So I'm starting out with this purple shade from the Riviera palette and I just begin to place it on my lid you guys I have no idea <laughs> what kind of look I want to do when I sat down but I just decided that I wanted to kind of create the shape for this eye look with the purple shadow so I just placed it down and started dragging it out because I wanted it to kind of you know just kind of fade out into my crease and as you can see, for the Riviera, this purple shadow is very nicely pigmented. It's going down very easy, not patchy at all. And I don't have any issues with blending. It's blending out very nicely. So of course, you guys know the formula of these 88 shadows is very nice. So not a problem. Now I'm taking the purple from my Constellation palette and I'm going to do the same thing. Just placing it down and kind of dragging it out to create this shape for my eyelid. And as you can see, the purples are a little bit different. It looks like the ABH one is a little bit darker and deeper. But the Constellation one is nicely pigmented as well. I did have to go in a few more times to build it up because it isn't as pigmented or as deep a purple as the ABH, but as you can see, it's still blending out very nicely, not giving me too many problems. Very, very nice. So like I said, yes, I did have to go in and just kind of add a little bit of extra elbow grease for the Constellation side, but it still came out looking pretty nice. Now I'm taking the pink shade from my ABH and I am barely, barely tapping into that. It probably looks like there's no pigment, but of course you guys know that pink is extremely pigmented. I'm just barely tapping into it because I just wanted to use it to kind of fade out that purple a bit. I didn't want any bright, super bright pink for this look. I wanted a little bit on the inner corner and then just to use what's on the rest of the brush to kind of blend out that purple on the rest of my lid. And I think it worked out very nicely. As you can see, the ABH side is just giving me no problems. Taking that pink from the Constellation, I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just gently tap my brush in there and blend out this purple. And as you can see, it's not as pigmented as the ABH side at all. It took me a little bit more dips, <laughs> a couple more dips for the pink. To show up but I must say the pink in the constellation is nicely pigmented it's just because I really didn't want to get a giant burst of pink 
that I was gently tapping in there and just slowly building it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and as you can see, I'm creating my cut crease. You guys have seen me do this a million times, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through this. And I'm doing kind of like a three quarter cut. Now I'm going into this gold shade from the ABH palette, frame my brush, because I wanna make sure it's nice and pigmented. And of course, it is going down very smooth, very easily. This gold is popping, and I really, really like how that's showing up on my cut crease. It's looking very, very pretty, nicely pigmented. Now I'm going to go into the gold from my Constellation palette. Do the same thing, place that down on my inner cut crease area. <laughs> and as you can see, I was quite disappointed when I first went in, but this shadow is definitely buildable. I had to go in a few more times, of course, to get that gold to pop like the ABH Riviera side, but as you can see, it's falling in line. It's coming together. And the color of this shimmer shadow is really, really close to the Riviera color. I was pretty surprised. Now I'm going into this beautiful turquoise blue shade from the Riviera, placing that down right next to that gold shade. And as you can see, the pigment is instantly there. And it's blending very, very nicely into that gold, very easily laying down on my lid. No complaints, of course. Very, very pretty. I'm also going to do the same thing on the Constellation side, of course. Clean brush, taking that turquoise shimmer, spraying, and I'm placing that down. And while it is not as nice and smooth as the Riviera palette, the pigmentation is there. As you can see, it's definitely popping, it's showing up, and the color match for the Riviera is super, super close. I mean, all I had to do was go in and just build it up a little bit, and those colors pretty much look identical. So I was very, very surprised with that because I thought that one might be a little patchy, a little crumbly, but it worked out very, very nice. Now I'm going back into the purple from the ABH and using that to just deepen that outer corner as well as blend out the edge for that blue. And of course, no issues, no problems. It blended it out very nicely. Pigmentation is beautiful. Taking the purple from the Constellation side, doing the same thing. And as you can see, the pigmentation is not as deep, but it is blending out nicely. It really is, you guys. I was kind of like, eh, I'm not sure, but even though I had to go in a couple of times, the look still turned out very, very nice. So this is how the look, it, the look is coming along so far. I decided to add a little bit of my blue eyeliner one of my AliExpress eyeliners. <laughs> I know y'all be laughing at me like, her and those AliExpress liners, but I really like using them because they just add that extra pop of color to the lid. Just adds a little bit more flair to your look. I'm also going in with my black eyeliner. I like to place that right up against the colored liner because it just adds that contrast and I think it actually makes the colored liner pop a little bit more. So this is the look. Let's go ahead and finish this face. So this is how the completed look is, you guys. I finished my complexion, of course. Threw on some lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss. But you guys can see for yourself, I am pretty shocked. These eyes look very, very similar. Both of these palettes performed very, very nicely and I don't know you guys, I guess we might have a partial do. So that is the comparison of these two palettes you guys. Let me know what you think. My personal thoughts is that 
I think that this Revolution Constellation palette is a very nice, affordable, alternative option for the Riviera palette. I definitely would not say it's a dupe because the formula is definitely not the same. The blendability is definitely not the same and the pigmentation is really not the same. This Riviera palette is the bomb, okay? It is just absolutely the bomb and there's no getting around it. But if you are out here balling on a budget and you like, hey, I can't spend $45 on that palette with 14 shadows in it, check out the Revolution Constellation palette because it's definitely a nice viable option, <laughs> okay? So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all your love and support. Coming back to check me out. Make sure you hit like, go ahead and comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!